Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Salam Sayyidat Rahma. My official number is A1 M2 In this time, we will discussing about chapter 9. The title is Class Building from Kagan's Cooperative Learning. Okay. Cooperative learning works best in a caring classroom community. We create this caring and cooperative context through class building. Class building provides mutual support among all of the students in a class and creates a positive context for learning. Although students spend most of their time in teams in the cooperative classroom, it is important that students see themselves as part of a larger supportive group, not just as members of one small team. There are a number of ways to improve class climate. The two primary approaches to class building are class building activities and class restructuring. Both approaches provide greater student empowerment and ownership and result in a feeling that this is our class. Okay, the first approach is class building structure and activities. For a structure to be a class building structure, students must interact with classmates. That means students are up out of their seats working with classmates beyond their immediate team. Students light up when they get the opportunity to discuss their interests, get to know their classmates better, and have fun. It's fun, but with a purpose in this approach, uh, kita akan mengenal dengan namanya Selective Class Building Structures yang terdiri dari class projects, corners, fact or fiction, find someone who find the fiction, formation, inside outside circle, lineups, linkages, mixed phrase group, round robin, similarity groups, and value lines, which is Termuat dalam the five aims of doing class building. Okay. The five aims of class building. In the cooperative learning classroom, class building used to create this dream classroom. It's a place where students feel safe, comfortable, and like to be and learn. Its purpose is students to know and like their classmates, to feel this is not just any classroom and their classmates are on their side, to feel free to express themselves and interact with all their classmates. The first aim is getting acquainted to know classmates. Its purpose agar tidak menimbulkan perilaku stereotypes meskipun mereka saling mengetahui nama. When students feel they are known by others, we meet the basic needs to feel important, to be liked, and to belong. The structures and activities for students to get to know and like their classmates as follows. The first one is find some who. It can be done with find that classmate which is students go on a hunt for classmates with certain characteristics. Each student can be each student can submit one fact about themselves that classmate probably would know. After each ask a question, they shake hands and search for a new partner. Besides, another variation is people hunt. People hunt is a fun way for students to get to know each other and discover shared interests and characteristics by describing their characteristics such as favorite color, favorite school subject, etc. The second one is similarity groups. It can be done with student characteristics which is the teacher announces a dimension such as favorite dessert or drink car and students pair up within their groups to discuss why they choose why they did. The teacher can call on different groups to summarize their answers. Another way is class building content for students to form group each time with a different dimension based on animal to be for a day, most admired person, favorite food, favorite animal, dream vacation, etc. The third one is inside outside cycle can be done with who are we, which is students stand in, in two concentric cycles, namely students in the inside cycle phase out and students in the outside cycle phase in. So each student is facing a partner in other cycle. They face a new partner and share information. Besides, another variation is getting acquainted question cards. Instead of asking a question, have them take turns reading and responding to their question cards. The fourth one is class project. Can be done with make birthday calendar to celebrate it so that students are made to feel extra special on their birthday. The fifth one is formation. It can be done with class bar graphs by getting acquainted topics such as number of blocks they leave from school. The data may be post, analyzed, and used as part of a math lesson. The sixth one is linkages. It can be done with student preferences, which is a visual and kinesthetic way to connect the entire class like links in a chain. 
The seventh one is fake or fiction, where is students state either a believable fiction or an unlikely fact about themselves. Classmates attempt to guess what which it is. The next one is find the fiction, where is students say three statements about themselves, two are fakes, one is a fiction. Classmate tries to guess the fiction. Next one is Ram Robin is sharing some part of their personal profile. It can be done with yesterday's name game and all about me, which is each student says their name by breaking it into syllables and adding a movement or gesture to go with each syllable. Next one is class line ups, where is the teacher announces a dimension on which student can line up. It based on height, show, show size, number of pockets, birthday, etc. And the last one is mix fair share. It can be done with getting to know you, which is any personal information. Works well to get to know each other better by playing upbeat music while students do. Next, the second aim is class identity building. Is forming a class identity so that students feel that their class is unique. To create it, the class engages in a variety of projects to distinguish itself, such as giving the class a name, designing a class logo, and coming up with a class song or chant. We want a class name that suggests shared ownership, involves the whole class in the process, and is something we all like. There is a fun lesson to come up with a class name as follows. The step one is teachers shares importance of name. A name sets an individual or organization apart from others, such as sports team, Students need a class name that screams this is our class. Step 2 is Tim's brain's term names. It is like using chat talks which is announcing each name of student as they write it on a separate slip of paper and try to cover the table with possibilities. Step 3 is student select favorite name. Student something time to review all the names their team generated and to select their favorite class name and share with around Robin. Step 4 is team select top name. The names students identify as their favorites in the round Robins are placed on the team desk and the other names are removed. Step 5 is team post top names. One team rep writes the selective name on a designated area of the board and announces the name of to the class. Step 6 is final selection. Teams discuss and run the alternative for each name are summed and the class name with the lowest sum is deemed the class name. Besides, once the class name has been decided, the class came up with the class logo, banner, or mural. Students work in team to design and decorate their own class. Door poster. In addition, students create a simple class song to celebrate a success, announce their presence, or just to focus everyone on the same thing at once. The students fill out a profile, a profile sheet and attach a picture to their profile on the student's wall. The class website can be a fun project for the whole class as, on, as online identity. Another way is a class scrapbook or memory book is a great way to create a last a positive class identity, the last in classroom signal, use nonverbal hand signals and gestures to communicate and to write a class mission statement in using mixed peer share, team statements, round robin, and blackboard share. Next, mutual support is being supported by classmates so that members feel the classroom is a caring community. The structures and activities for classmates to feel mutually supported by one another as follows. The first one is hidden helpers. To do something nice for their secret poll each week without letting the secret poll discover. The second one is ticket agents. Assign one or two students to hand out tickets to those who are being very helpful, considerate, or cooperative during the day. The third one is chain of friendship. Student announces the deed to the class as it is glued or stapled onto the chain. As the friendship chain grows, it is a visible measure of kind and helpful deeds. The fourth one is classroom rules, need to reinforce supportive behaviors and discourage negative behaviors. The fifth one is class party. As a class, students have a great time while learning the importance of everyone's contribution. The sixth one is who am I? Students brainstorm the names of familiar people or characters, discover the secret identity and they wear the name tag on their chase. The next one is mix freeze group. Student mix around the room until the teacher calls freeze with use number puzzles. Next one is service learning projects. Students can build bonds with classmates as they care for animals, adult children, the elderly, the homeless, or beautify the environment. And the last one is silly supports and groovy games. A rich array of mutual support activities is provided in the helping.
Next, the fourth aim is valuing differences, is clarifying and respecting different values. Students need to know that they are not only known by others in the classroom, but also that they are valued and appreciated. It means there are no diversity between each other. Structures and activities for classmates to clarify their values and feel accepted and respected as follows. The first one is corners. Works well for students to get to know and accept themselves and others more. It is also a useful structure to begin and end a lesson. A typical corner sequence are step one is announce corners. Announce the corners with a number in each corner and with visual post in each corner if possible. The step two is thing and bright time. Give students a bit of silent thing time to clarify for themselves their preference. Have them write the number of their preferred corner on a slip of paper. This way is clarify their own failures. Step three, students grow in corners students go to their corners and pair up to express the reason for their preferences they then form groups of four within the corner and each share with the group to the reasons their partner gave stay for students paraphrase student in pairs in the corners paraphrase the reason this less sharing and paraphrasing is repeated for each corner the last step is team review when students are big in their teams they make sure everyone can name reason supporting each choice the second one is agree disagree lineups. Is taking a stance, a statement announced, and students take a stand on an imaginary line that stretches from one end of the classroom to another. The strongest agree student in the class stands at one end of the line. The strongest disagree student stands at the other. The remaining students stand between closer to one and or the other, depending on how much they agree or disagree with the statement. Next, uh, the last aims is developing synergy is building on classmate contribution the structure and activities for creating student interaction that produce outcomes better than the best student could produce alone as follows the first one is cycle the sage it puts this synergy principle into action students who have expertise on a topic stand around the room it is powerful with a wide range of content because we have heterogeneous classes we can do a pre-assessment on a topic and have those who score will be, will become the sages. In this variation, students cycle sages who have different opinions on a topic. When they return to their team, they first share the different opinions and then make a team statement representing the team's opinion. The second one is formation. Include geometric forms, which is a geometric feature such as two concentric cycles. A square or a triangle, which is students from the feature with their bodies by holding hands. Next, objects. Students act according to the situation to be used. An imaginary machine. Describing machines as having various parts and movements. Student plays the part of a crane by bending his arm at the elbow. Another student aids on by placing her hands on the waist of the first student and doing deep knee bends in time to the cranking motion. A third connects and moves her head in a cycle, etc. The second one is class projects. Include class plays, skit, and performances. Through collaboration, students accomplish together what no single students could do alone. The class project should be broken into smaller elements integral to the class goal. Individuals or teams take responsibility for the different pieces. For example, if the class project is a video, there will need to be script writers and so on. And reflect on cooperation. Reflection after class projects can reinforce cooperation and the importance of individual contribution to have students reflect on the collaborative process. Well, we move to the next approach. The second approach is class restructuring, positive class tone, and student evaluation. In class restructuring, uh, there is a class meetings, our time for creative problem solving. Now, it is an amazing feature of our democratic educational system that we have settled so universally on a auto Credit social organization of our classroom. The function of class meeting as a announcement, mutual support, solve problems, improve class, and plan events. Regularly scheduled class meetings are one of the most powerful tools we have for teaching mutual respect, responsi responsibility, caring, social awareness, cooperative students, and democratic principles. The class meeting also can be a major source of support for the teacher as students actively strive to improve the class find solutions to problems and suggest consequences for behaviors. Whenever a problem comes up that doesn't need to be solved immediately, it can be placed on the agenda for the next class meeting. Okay, uh, another 
as class goals can be created through the test structure if the points earned by each time are summed and contribute to class goal. The importance of setting class goals becomes clear when we visit a classroom in which where has been only team level reconnection and no class projects or class level reconnection. The success of each team contributes to a higher level class goal and and students see themselves as a classmates and support each other. Next is positive class tone. There is a silly support and gooby games. Unlike traditional sports and games where the goal is to win, with silly sport, the goal is for everyone to have fun and for everyone to feel like a winner. Next, enhancing the class climate. The trick is to balance fun with academic learning. Sometimes we do fun things just for the sake of fun. Often, the fun activities can be integrated with classroom learning. For example, if students are learning about plants, a class garden is ideal for planting and growing seeds. Next, class empowerment. To allow students to have input to make decisions and to feel a sense of pride and ownership in the classroom, they are happier to be a part of our class and less likely to seek control in disruptive ways. Next, there is student input include class decisions. When the class is making a decision, instead of a food, it is usually better to use consensus seeking some the ranks or spend a buck. Its goal is not to get their every favorite outcome each time, but rather to get an outcome that everyone can live with. And uh, rewards and celebration. If there is a class goal, students can decide how to celebrate progress towards the goal. The teacher can determine which uh, celebration are acceptable. Next, there is student ownership of the classroom. A student bulletin board or college allows student control over a portion of their environment. There can be a class decision as to how to use the space. Besides, students given are an opportunity to contribute to room arrangement. They get the feeling that this is our class and we each play an important role. Another way to empower students, they can sign up for different classroom committees, each which a different role for contributing to how the class runs and what students do. And the last is student choice. As choice of centers when using learning centers, individual student or whole teams can be given choices. As choice of activities, many lessons have multiple activities to reinforce the same concept. If the activities don't build on one another, the sequence is inconsequential. Next, student evaluation. Students can provide a valuable input into the classroom environment and become coaches for their teachers. On a regular basis, students fill out a very simple questionnaire which allows them to reflect on various aspects of classroom life. The teacher uses the answers to get student perception of how things are going in the class with an eye toward improving condition for students because students are ask for their ideas for improvement, they take responsibility for the class climate and their own learning. The positive tone puts teachers and students all on the same side in an attempt to improve our class. Okay. Cooperative learning works best in a caring classroom community. We create this caring and cooperative context through class building. There are two approaches that use in class building. The first approach is the use of class building structures and activities to reach a range of class building objectives through the contribution and collaboration of every class member. The class is capable of producing projects and presentations that surpass those that any single class member could do independently. The second approach is restructuring the class. We move from the traditional autocratic teaching style where the teacher makes all the decisions toward a more democratic style where students have a voice. The class becomes everyone's class, where everyone has a degree of control over their own environment and circumstances. The two approaches described in this chapter are different, but the outcome for both is the same, namely creating a cooperative, caring community of learners where everyone wants to be and learn. I think that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. If you are, there is uh, any question or suggestion, please comment below. I think enough. Last word, I want to say, wabilahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.